Hi, I'm Danny, Director at Muscle Medicine. In this video, you're going to hear Laura talk about the shoulder joint, a very complex joint. We have a lot of clients come in with shoulder dysfunction or shoulder discomfort, uh, which is not unusual considering it's the second highest con um, area of complaint for a lot of Australians. Our, our therapists are uh, very au okay with shoulder injuries, so if you do have something going on with your shoulder, please don't hesitate to give us a call. I'll hand over to Laura. The shoulder is a very complex joint. It's extremely mobile, but it's not the most stable. However, we have a lot of structures that act upon the shoulder to help improve stability. You may never have thought about this, but let me ask you, where does the shoulder join the rest of the skeleton on the body? It's actually just at this point here between the clavicle and the sternum. So we have the muscles and bones of the hand, the two bones in the forearm and all the muscles go along there, as well as the humerus, the shoulder blade and the clavicle, all hanging off just this little joint here. So that's a lot going on. Let's talk about some of the muscles. We'll just do a top line of muscles here because there are many more, but for now, we don't need to go into that much detail. You have the lats that go from the hip up and into the arm. We've got the rotator cuff muscles that attach around the scapula, also known as your shoulder blade, and into the top of the shoulder there. We have the pec muscles that go from the sternum into what we know as the shoulder. We have a muscle called the serratus superior anterior, which goes underneath the scapula there and into the ribs. We also have the rhomboids at the back of the scapula that go in between your two shoulder blades there and into your spine. And we have the levator scapulae, which goes from the inside corner of your shoulder blade up around the neck, does what it says on the tin. It lifts your scapula, um, also known as your shoulder blade. And we have your trapezius muscles, which is actually quite a thin muscle, go down like a big diamond shape um, from the top of your, bottom of your head, sorry, into your, again, scapula and down in a diamond shape in towards the middle of your back. We also have the bicep that goes from the forearm and in the joint. And I bet you didn't think of that one as a shoulder muscle. So with all this going on, it's no surprise that shoulder pain is the second most complained about area of the body after the lower back. So it isn't easy to understand shoulder pain. There can be a host of reasons for it. Anything from injury, be it a tackle in sport that causes maybe a tear or a dislocation. It could be frozen shoulder, which is actually an autoimmune response of the body. It could just be poor movement from us that's causing gripping and bad habits and gets us stuck in a cycle of pain. Generally, most of the problems we see is from poor use and lack of stability. And so there's a great program of exercises that you can do to just help prevent shoulder pain and maybe take you out of it if you do suffer from a little bit of pain and you haven't had an injury and you can still move it. So these exercises will target the whole of the shoulder. It'll look at strengthening the muscles at the back, like such as the rhomboids that we discussed and allow the shoulder to have great movement with using the shoulder blade in part of it, but not relying on the shoulder blade. At Muscle Medicine, we see a range of reasons for people coming in with shoulder pain. And it really isn't a quick fix or a one size fits all approach. So what we do want to do is focus on working with you to get you out of pain and have a long-term solution. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, or share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exercises muscle medicine bodywork live your best life